we install, we are very pleased to offer a newly improved top of the line quality fuel to all our customers across the region. We started this launch in Guyana on Tuesday this week. We went to Belize yesterday. Today we're doing Barbados and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean. And in a few days we're also doing the same in Suriname. So formally we introduce this the new Shell V Power with friction modification technology to all of our customers on all the Shell branded service stations in the region. So why not, you may ask? So, as a licensee of Shell, we will remain very fashionable, the same as Shell, when it comes to offering our customers the best fuel available. So, we are passionate about offering quality, high performance fuels for your car. And this means that we like to offer you the last thing on the market, cutting edge technology and the best innovation available. As with every fuel progression strategy, our team felt it was time to enhance our existing shall we power fuel offering to existing and potential customers by adding what Shell has developed together with Ferrari. We have been committed to work very hard to improve the fuel proposition for the Caribbean since we initially launched V-Power across the region in November 2006. And as a result, we now offer a new Shell V-Power with friction modification technology. Ferrari Formula 1 car is a mobile laboratory, and as you'll explain, many of the additives that we use and the chemicals that we use are tested and proven in Formula 1 cars and then transmitted to passenger cars. So the Ferrari we saw running in 2006, that year, ironically, is when we started testing FNT. So we're getting it today. So we can see the linkage. Jim, Dr. Nassis, you can't call him Dr. Nassis all the time, but Jim, has 25 years working with Shell in the area of fuel and lubricants technology. In this capacity, he's developed products for Shell's downstream businesses in various countries around the world, overseeing the introduction of several new products into the marketplace. So we're not unique. We're one of the landscape of introduction of Shell V-Power gasoline and Shell's and the world's biggest, as well as said, global branded fuel. Some 45 countries, I think, came across the globe. He holds a BSc degree in chemistry from Newman University in Kansas, USA, and a PhD in organic chemistry from Iowa State University. What we mean by that is they go into the fuel, they are combusted, and they go out the exhaust. And everything that we do needs to be compliant with any local, local regulations or uh, any type of you know, exhaust emissions or, or whatever is involved with that. So do a very, very, very tight and, and uh, involved risk assessment that includes the fate of the additives. So what, what we find is, is the additive technology we talked about today meets meets all of that. We're very comfortable with where we are. Shall we borrow gasoline with FMT assist in managing that? and maybe assisting with the quality of the product. Yeah, higher end vehicles tend actually to be more demanding. So the things we talked about, power uh, robbing deposits, things that can cause problems with vehicles, many times are actually, can actually be more exacerbated or severe with a higher performance vehicle. So for sure, Shelby Power and Lead would be an excellent application. Remember when I had the uh, total energy and there was a little section on friction? The amount that is sort of available for um, metal to metal contact in the engine is in the range of, it depends on, on the vehicle, it depends on the, on the condition and the operation, is in the 5 to 7 percent range. And that's sort of split between the, the piston, as I pointed out, the top of the piston, and the valve train. So you got things like cam, uh, cam followers and, and cam shafts and things. So there's a, some range in there in the 3 to 5 percent of the loss friction that we're able to actually go after. And it does show a benefit. Some of the things we do to show the benefit is we do um, testing around responsiveness and acceleration over different um, speed ranges, speed and low ranges. Okay. So if you get at a dead stop and you, and you start off, and you, you know, if you don't have FMT, it's slower, or uh, then if you do have FMT, and then things as, uh, at the higher speed range, as if you were uh, accelerating, maybe passing, or merging into a motorway. And that's some of the ways that we actually test this. We obviously have uh, position the technology as, as power, performance, responsiveness.
we have introduced the product into some 45 other countries, I think as was mentioned before, and it's one of our most successful uh, premium products. We have had customers tell us that when they switch to V-Power Unleaded, their fuel economy actually improves. We have testimonials to that. Uh, you know, we, we have, we've not gone to the marketplace with those kind of claims, and, and we haven't measured that, but that's the feedback that we get. Um, we would actually expect gasolines that don't have this technology to burn faster, to be not as efficient. And this is because of two reasons. One is, they can build up deposits in critical parts of the engine, and that makes the engine work harder. If the engine has to work harder, it won't be as efficient. It will use more fuel. Same with uh, the uh, friction modification technology. It's only in shell gasoline. The friction modification technology is designed to make the engine run more smoothly. That's less stress on the engine. So, all things being equal, we would actually expect gasolines that don't have this technology to burn faster. Yeah, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, what Dr. James Mercedes is saying is this is a unique product. And in all the countries that we compete with in this launch event, those base fuels do not have this component, and therefore we won't expect that our engines and the vehicles for our customers who use our product will perform at a higher efficiency. Fit and strong, ladies and gentlemen, fit and strong. Uh, for the benefit of uh, possibly for everybody when he says octane requirement, uh, what can happen when it when it, this is a, c a combustion chamber phenomenon. What can happen is with a new vehicle, it's designed for a certain uh, octane uh, rating by the manufacturer. Sometimes, it depends on the model, it depends on the service, it can build up deposits in the combustion chamber. Does that have an effect on combustion? It can sometimes. And sometimes, you'll see that certain vehicles uh, may require uh, higher octane or they'll not. Now, I haven't really seen a lot of that lately. I'm not sure about the market here. That, that could happen. Um, you know, we, we haven't really evaluated that specifically, you know, what effect the, the technology might have on octane requirement because, because quite frankly, it doesn't happen very much anymore. Uh, so, so we really haven't evaluated, evaluated that one specifically. The new product is, is a full, so we call it fitness for purpose. Is it fit for purpose? So a lot of uh, energy and time is spent looking at things that could be potential side effects or uh, you know, there could be benefits actually, but we're, we're actually looking, at, is there anything that could uh, be something that's cause for concern? There isn't. The deposits are uh, removed and they're burned cleanly out the exhaust. The, uh, the additive technology is consumed in the combustion chamber. It burns, it goes out the exhaust, and everything works very, very nicely.